So obviously they've got some kinks to work out and let me know if you can jump ship and jump over to the other live stream. And I'm going to sign off of this one. I'm signing off of the Google Hangouts on air. I'm stopping the broadcast and jump over. Okay. Now it's only 8.04, so that's why I went on five minutes early. <laughs> Hi, yay, yay. How do, how do you pronounce yay, yay? Hey, Maggie. Hi, food time in. Laura in Canada. Hong Kong. I'm writing that down so I don't forget. And what time is it in Hong Kong? Hey, Daryl. Hey, Travis. Hey, Faithful Flowers, food time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Laura. I need a thumbs up for that ordeal. Okay. If it looks a little hot right here, hot meaning bright on my side of my face, we're, I'm trying something different. The sun, we finally have sun, number one. Finally have sun. The plants are really responding. It's going to be really hot. And <clears throat> the sun is coming up. I have it blocked for now. But if it gets up there, then the web webcam's going to be over. Who else do we have here? Let's see. Uh, hey, Rebecca from Louisville. Listen, everybody, if you never tuned in to that great video I did at the Louisville Science Center, please go and watch that. That's in my Kentucky series, my Ashland, Kentucky series. That is such a great place. It's so inspirational. And, of course, if you have children and you're anywhere near um, uh, Louisville. Did I say Ashland? It's not in my Ashland. Is it in my Ashland series? No, it's not in my Ashland series. I don't think I, I, I think it's separate because it was a separate trip. I went to that, that big farm convention in Louisville and Rebecca contacted me and I went over and did a video at the science center. It's a fantastic place. Uh, Bakersfield. Oh, wow, Maggie, it must be really hot out there. Hey, Kevin. Fantastic. Hey, Beth. So uh, Zola Winnie, North Carolina. That's a new one. And I don't recognize. Uh, do I have any of my moderators on? Because that was a little crazy kind of getting, getting, jumping from one thing to the other. Emma Sue Peters from, my God, Cape Town, South Africa. That's a first. I am writing a note right now, Cape Town. Thank you so much for tuning in. In fact, you know, when I first, about five years ago, I had a fan and he was in South Africa. He was a teenager and uh, we were really in touch. He sent me a lot of pictures and uh, I was so, I'm always so gratified and excited when I can attract teenagers to my channel, obviously, uh, because, you know, young people are the future of our food. So tell me about your garden in, in Cape Town, Emma. And please, everyone, welcome, Emma. I'm sure it's your first live stream, Emma. It's the first time you've commented. Uh, yes, we did. We did, Rebecca. That was so awesome. Oh, yes, I'm sure. Norway, fantastic. You, were you on last week? Um, because I did not mention Norway. If you've seen today's video already, I know it confused some people. Some people wrote and said, oh, I thought you were doing a live stream. I am. I uploaded a video at 3 a.m. and I'm doing a live stream at 8. I didn't upload it at 3. I just said it for an upload at 3. I was sleeping at 3. <laughs> um, good morning, Anita from Illinois. Fantastic. Good morning, Ed. <laughs> Hi, Robert. A fantastic, Robert. Um, a thank you, thank you, that Robert. Everyone, welcome Robert Porter. He it's his first live stream with me, I believe, from Nocatee, Florida. Tell me where that's close to, because I don't know Nocatee. I know about the manatee, and I've seen the manatee in the St. Johns River, or in the no. Oh, I lived down there for a brief period. Uh, fantastic, Liv. That's fantastic. Uh, did you come to me? Did you find me through my loofah video? Because that's really making the rounds around the world, i got to say. Don Williams, 
fantastic, Dawn. Thank you. Uh, let's see. And you'll see everybody that's tuning in that's new. You'll see you'll, you're going to get welcomed by my regular people who are so warm and fuzzy and, and everything. And I'm hoping um, Inside Kate's Kitchen tunes in. Um, let's see. St. Augustine. Okay. Okay. I have been there, but it's been a while. Uh, T hey, Tina from um, Arizona, from Phoenix. And let's see. South of France. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Gazelle is tuning in. Is from, And I, I assume you're in the South of France, Gazelle. And um, I had some very fun times in the south of France. So did my son, actually, he, on a separate trip. <laughs> He's, my son is actually going back to the south of France in August uh, for a wedding at some place. <laughs> no, the wedding is in Cannes, I believe. Mm. Gisele, thank you for tuning in. And I'm, I'm glad you've been watching. If you have any questions for anyone, everyone's very generous and, and happy to answer questions. Um, Robert. Um, <laughs> north of SA, south of Jax. Um, <clears throat> uh, you're going to have to, you're going to have to spell that out only because my brain. Uh, good morning, Mr. Tom. Uh, no, we're having hot weather, Mr. Tom. It, two, three days ago, it hit finally. And it was 88 in Hollywood yesterday. I was over there and I'm going, oh, God, it's too hot. It's too hot. Um, Brazil is back. Are you the same person that was here from Brazil last week? I don't think so. I think the name is different. I'm writing down all the countries outside of the U.S., so make sure you let me know if you're watching from another country. And we're, uh, let's see, let's see. Ah, Steve, your loofah is six feet long. So, well, it's slow going because you've had all that rain. I mean, it needs some sun for crying out loud. Okay, I'm going to give a big shout out to Emma Sue because she has been binging my videos in the last three weeks. And that's fantastic. That's fantastic, Emma Sue. Uh, crazy week. Oh, we're in the south of France, close to I mean, myself. Uh, I, th I think they're going to Cannes, and then they're doing a little trip around there. So I'm not sure of my geography because when I made my little trip a long time ago, I didn't make it to Cannes. 110 in Phoenix. Whoa. It's just in the first time I went to Phoenix to do a garden video, I went to see Jake Mace, who's, you know, his, his, Situation changed radically. But anyway, I caught the tail end of his his Mesa garden. And it was 115 that day. I took a brand new camera. Literally, it was the upgrade to my A6000 A Sony. I took the A6300 and I thought, okay, it's just an upgrade. I don't have to read the manual. I don't have to, you know, I'm just ordering it. And uh, I get over there and the thing is overheating like every other minute. And so I'm switching from my cell phone to the to the camera just so that we can get this thing done because it's 115. And I get back home and 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 I read the reviews about this camera and it says, oh, it overheats because there's more metal in it. I'm going, oh, great. <laughs> um, oh, fantastic. Yay, yay. Am I saying, is it yay, yay or yee, yee? I'm assuming it's yay, yay. Uh, and t tell me again where you are. Uh, oh, St. Augustine. I thought that. Yeah. Jacksonville, of course. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Hey, hey, Portia. Good morning. Uh oh. Uh, I, I kind of hope you're, you're not going to be falling off too many ladders over there, Ed. Speaking of ladders, I went up on my roof again yesterday. Of course, you'll see this in a video. I mean, you don't actually see me go up and go down because I had the camera and I didn't want to fall. <laughs> but you'll see, you'll see that I am on the roof. 
because something exciting happened and you'll just have to wait for the video. And, uh, Hey, Jenny's, uh, are you, so Janice is watching from Goa, India, and India did several people from India tuned in last to the last live stream, but I didn't see you. And I've been thinking about you because I, I had some leftover okra seeds from you, which I planted and they're about that big. We have had no hot weather. Okra just hates cold, cool weather. Oh, gazelle. I tell you, I wish I had a dream neighbor. I have a lovely little boy that lives next door and he's kind of been in, if you've watched, if you've binged my channel, you've seen Zachary a lot, but they're moving away and to San Francisco. And so the house is for rent. We'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, but I, w I wish I had, I so wish I had somebody like Glenda or Gazelle living next door. Glenn, remember Glenda from um, Northern Cal? She and her husband came down and visited and she had such great advice about olives, about various things. And she's a great cook. And we went in the kitchen. We made that, we made that tart with my, what did we use? My, uh, I guess it was my pineapple guavas. Yeah. Cause she came in November. Uh, oh, wow. If you can get strawberries from the Netherlands, that would be interesting. Good morning, Brian from New Jersey. Hello from Houston, Texas. A green. What does A stand for? Just, just so I know. Um, well, they're in little, Janice, they're still in little things. I've got to pot them up. And the question is, where do I put them? They're going on the driveway in a pot. That's all, that's all I can do. If you've seen my garden, you know it's completely full. Uh, li uh, listen to Food Time. Laura there from Canada is going, hey, do that. That would be awesome. I also wanted to give, and I don't see her on. Oh, thank you, Silva. Where are you writing from? I'm so glad you found my channel. I uh, I do have a tremendous passion for for everything I do, and um, I, especially for gardening and for plants and critters and everything. And I, um, it, it's hard to believe now that I somehow made it to you know this later part in my life without having my own garden. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Maggie, I missed something. What looks sad in the, in the sun? Uh, let's see. Oh, great. Great, Janice. That's fantastic. Denise Carr from Tennessee. Uh, yes, I was wondering who was going to mention my haircut. And Denise did. Um, Oh, in Australia. Fantastic. Silva is writing from Sydney, Australia. Just jotting down all the countries so I don't have to go back and, and look through the list. Um, thank you, Maggie. I It's my longtime hair cutter. He's cut my hair for over 28 years. And so I'm sitting there and he looks fabulous as usual. And he said he had a stroke three weeks ago. And I, like, I went, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what we what you what? And he said he was cutting hair. He had the little, you know, the 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 buzzer, the what do you call it, the uh, shaver thing for the edges on the men's haircuts. <laughs> it's it's got a name, and it's it's a metal, you know, uh, electric thing that has some some weight to it, and it just fell out of his hand and it looked on the ground. And he said he looked down. He said he remembers looking down and he thought, well, what is that doing on the floor? And then he went, he went down to, to grab it. And he said it was over here and his hand was over here going like that. And um, finally the person in the chair notices that he's something's wrong. And, and so they call 911 and he spent three days in Cedars and he had a minor stroke. And, um, he said it took about three days for him to get his voice and 
you know, I'm just mentioning this stuff because this stuff can happen to anybody that's over 40, really 50, you know? Um, and so, uh, yeah, so he's back at work and, uh, he only, he, he only suffered, uh, the loss of speech, uh, for like three days or something. It's a miracle. Clippers. Thank you. Uh, is clippers the word for the electric ones? Okay. Um, uh, Daryl, that's a that's a good point. Daryl's talking about the um, gourds, which is which is all the cucurbit family. When you refer to it, you know the winter squash, the zucchini. They have these massive leaves, and they wilt in the sun. And the first time I saw that, I thought, "Oh my God!" I ran out and started watering, and they, the leaves were just hanging down like a skirt. And but I I started to feel like I started to feel like, well, it's much hotter in Phoenix and, and the Valley and other places than it is here. And if they're, if they're going down and going up and going down every single day, it, it just seemed like it, it took the, it took the, it took so much energy to do that. You hear my crow over here bossing every, everybody around up there. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay, Janice, Janice, thank you for tuning in. Uh, Tanya Eubanks, uh, 30. Tanya, where are you tuning in from? Um, I know your name, but I don't remember where you are. Uh, yeah, 30 is crazy. To have a stroke at 30, that's crazy. And we just all have to be, all I can say is we got, we got to make the most of every day. And, um, and be as kind as we can be and, and try to help other people. And, you know, I don't know, just treat other people the way you want to be treated. And, and hopefully you can have some success. Hey, Patricia. <laughs> uh, exactly. But the problem so often with strokes is you're, you know, you could have a spouse in the other room or you can have no one in the other room, but I mean, it, it, my mother was in the other room and my father went down and it was just like a few minutes before she went in there, but it could have been an hour. It could, you know, and when you, depending on the, the severity of the stroke, uh, it, you, you, you can't necessarily tell somebody you've got a problem. My, I mean, he just went down. Hey, Tracy, remind, remind everybody where you're from. Northern Indiana, Tanya, thank you so much. It's a, you know, I, I, Daryl, I don't know if it's a crow or, raven, or a raven. I could, because I do, do not know the difference. All I know is they're very bossy, very noisy, and very smart. And they can intimidate. Well, I don't know how big it is, but but there's a tree down there. And if you've watched all my videos, you've seen this happen because I've done, I've filmed it a couple of times. Uh, they, we have a big, uh, some kind of a raptor, I guess it's some kind of a hawk. And it sits on the very top of that evergreen tree down there. It's an unusual one with, with individual branches, very tall. It's the tallest tree in the neighborhood. And it will sit on the top of that and the crows will just dive bomb this thing. And it'll be going, it'll be going like that. And it will, it will be doing that for like an hour before it makes its escape. Hey, Karen. And Karen is in, I want to say, yes, Scotland. I was going to say that. Uh, Scotland is in the house, everyone. Uh, let's see. Gazelle. Let's see. Okay, great, Gazelle. I will share that later. Uh, good morning, Nancy from San Diego. Oh, that's fantastic. How can you? Oh, I see. That's fine. Uh, longer in the middle, crow's tails. Crow tails straight across. What does a tail straight across mean? Oh, you mean like, okay, so here's the tail, and the raven's tail ends like that, and the crow's tail ends like that. 
I think that must be what you mean. Um, 70, 70, ooh, 90, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Tanya, I mean, uh, Tanya has, um, in um, Indiana, Tanya has 77 degrees, but 90 degrees of, with the humidity near a hundred. That, that sounds kind of like Mobile, Alabama when I was down there. I wonder if Pat Smith is online. She's usually watching. Uh, let's see. <laughs> corn country. Yeah. The question is, are we talking about GMO corn? Cause I think we are. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to give a shout out. I don't think she's on to Charlie baby. She's another one. I've got two or three here that have just said that she is, she is binging all of my videos and, um, her name is not Charlie. That's the name of her dog <laughs> or, uh, was the name of her dog. But anyway, um, hopefully she'll tune in and she'll see me mention that. I wanted to talk about, um, I wanted to talk about, let's see, do we have any, no, um, pests and critters and you know what is the biggest um oh my gosh <laughs> let's see my name is hamish or hamish uh from australia please say hello he only found my he or she i'm not sure if hamish is uh a male or female i think it's probably a male uh just found my channel a half an hour ago and so please give Hamish a big welcome to my channel, everyone. Oh, God. Exactly, Tanya. What are we going to do? I, what, Tanya has, she's surrounded by six Monsanto plants in Indiana. And you guys know how I feel about that company. Oh, man. Ooh, Nebraska is hot. Good morning, Ian. Uh, you know, Nebraska is one of those states I'm not sure I've ever even been in. I've been in many of the states in this country. I haven't been in that one. I haven't been in Alaska either, and I really want to go there. Um, let's see. I'm a boy. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, oh, okay. No, actually, Hamish, uh, because I am seeing you, the size of the, your icon is that size right there. So I can't tell what it is. <laughs> uh, unless you're, unless you had your face like that, I wouldn't be able to even distinguish what was on there. Uh, well, I mean, the the thing is, the thing is, Silva, the tide is finally turned. Bear buyer in Germany. Uh, last last week we had a bunch of people from Germany. Um, buyer has seen the pure folly of their ways in buying that company, and their their stock has plummeted. And this is really the only way. I mean. It's, it's not, of course we need stronger laws because the laws, the environmental laws now, you have to prove without a shadow of a doubt that a particular pesticide gave you cancer before they'll take it off the market. It should be the other way around. It shouldn't go onto the market until it's proven safe. But in this country, you know the the drug companies and the and the pharmaceutical companies and the chemical companies and the fossil fuel companies rule, and uh, that's not going to change anytime soon with the the way the Supreme Court set up Citizens United. So what we have to do as consumers is we have to educate ourselves and and as many people as we can about this toxicity and that it isn't safe. And a lot of people have been told that it's safe, 
in their jobs as landscapers and so forth, and it's not safe. And um, so I'm doing what I can do, and I hope everybody else will too. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> No kidding. Ian, thank you so much that you're like the third or fourth person that just found my channel and tuned into my live stream. Thank you. I am so excited. There's a Scottish name pronounced Hamish like Hamish like a Hamish. A Hamish? A Hamish? The question is, is the A a long, is the AI a long A, like A sound, or is it a short A, like ah? I, I know, I know, Maggie, I know. Did you see something just, I think those are hummingbirds that just went by. Um, I, 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 how is it? It's because the shareholders, you know, it's, it's, ew, it's just, hmm. Okay, um, let's see. Fantastic, Silva. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I have to give a lot of credit to the Lufa video because that's how I'm finding a lot of people around the world in other countries. Just pay attention. There's some kind of bird flying around back there. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Yes, Daryl. Thank you. Aggressively. It is sold aggressively. <sighs> yes, yes, a Hamish, a Hamish. Um, no, wait, I'm getting confused. Yeah, it's Hamish. Okay, Hamish. Uh, yes, and uh, I, I know, and a lot of young people. Uh, it wrote and said in there, they said, well, why am I watching this Lufa video? Why is this recommended to me? But this is pretty cool. <laughs> Most of them said that. Almost all of them said that. Almost everyone had a positive comment. <laughs> well, Maggie, it's interesting you should say that because I am growing it again. And it's just been this big and this big and this big. And now with the last three days of uh, heat, uh, it, the, the vine is about that long. Steve, are you still there? Are you, where, are, are, where are your vines now? I assume Steve in, in Illinois, I, they've been getting so much rain. Uh, he was on earlier. I don't know if you're still there, Steve, but deadly wound. It, my vines are like that tall now. So they're getting potted up today in a workday video that I'm going to start shooting as soon as I finish this. Uh, let's see. Yeah. And what did they say about that, Daryl? I'm sorry you're offended. <clears throat> Um, Sakea is in, I want to say Japan. No, did I get that right? Um, I know you tuned in last week. Remind me where you are. Um, hanging from a trellis, Steve. Uh, the vines are hanging from a trellis, right? But does your trellis just go straight up to a certain point and stop or what? Yeah, I mean, those because those vines can get 15. I mean, they go over the other side. I have this I have this plan. I am going I moved. You know, I have this little cactus display right by my on my porch here. So I moved the top, the top row of cacti of succulents over there. Because, you know, they don't really do much. They just sort of sit there most of the time. And uh, this is one spot that I still have some sun right here. In fact, I'm blocking the sun. This is the right now. So, so that's going to get, uh, 
Those are going to get potted up today. And then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive a stake. I know you can't see this, but I'm going to drive a stake down. And then I'm going to hang a, hang a nylon trellis up to about, mm, well, as tall as the stake is, obviously. And then I'm going to try to train the vines to go over that way. And I don't know if that'll work because they spread out. It's not just one single vine. It's not like a tomato, which just goes a sucker from every joint. It's not like that. The, the loofah vines aren't, but there is one main vine, but then the, sometimes there's a, an offshoot. But I thought if I train them to go straight up, they can either come over. It, it actually would be better and easier if I just train them to come over a little archway and come over and grow up into the pine tree. Use the pine tree as my trellis. 10 buckets hanging from the arbor. You will, you will, Steve, you will get shade from it and you're going to need it in that heat. Uh, 10 buckets hanging from the arbor. Hmm. That's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see it. Um, Sakea, did I miss where, did I miss a comment where you, where you're writing from? Oh, Sakea, are you talking to me? I am in Los Angeles. We do have someone online, at least one person. We did have two people writing in from Australia. I'm in Los Angeles and are you new to my channel? Because I thought you were on last week. I have an urban garden in my front yard in Los Angeles, which is now a complete jungle. I do have one walkway that I can walk through pretty, pretty careful, pretty clearly. Cut your rose back to five leaves. It's only it's three leaves. I already did that Portia in the last video. Remember? I cut it back. Um, <laughs> I don't know what a big Zach is, real man. What is a big Zach? Oh, oh, well, that must be a tomato. Oh my gosh, that must have been good. That's a great idea. Um, Portia puts milkweed on Craigslist for free. In, under free stuff to get to get it out into the community for monarchs. Yes, Daryl, we know. Hello, Andre. Where are you writing from? Let me guess. Brazil. No, I don't know. Where are you writing from? Uh, tomatoes. Yeah, yes, real man. I figured that out. <laughs> hey, Larry. Oh, Gardner. Is, is your name really Larry O'Gardening? O'Gardner and you're not into gardening? Really? But I'm 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 glad you found my channel and yes, I hope I can inspire you to get out and get your hands in the dirt and and uh, connect. Portugal. Wonderful. I'm making a note. Because we did not have Portugal on last week. Look at all of our countries. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We have, we did have Hong Kong, Cape Town, South Africa. That's very exciting because that is so far from where I am. Norway, Brazil, India, Australia, Scotland, Portugal. If I left anybody out, please just quickly just write your country on there. Scott, yeah, Scott, I got Scotland. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Karen. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know if Sweet Annie is a wormwood. I really don't know. It is in the National Botanic Garden in Washington in their medicinal herb gallery. It's included there, and it was sent to me by a friend in uh, Pennsylvania. I mean, uh, 
uh, Pittsburgh. Yeah, Pittsburgh. And uh, I still have a few plants over here. I wish you were. <laughs> I wish you were in this country. I would just send you one. <laughs> um, but I can't do that. Mr. Tom, weren't you the one that was telling me to to use the hydrogen peroxide uh, spray for the mildew? I wanted to talk about mildew. And he's also recommending just using cheap white vinegar straight out of the jug. Pour one gallon. Wait. One gallon. How big of a sprayer are you talking about? Pour one gallon of what into your sprayer? Water? And then a... No. I think you meant one quarter of a cup of cooking oil, not 14 cups. And four tablespoons of dish detergent? That sounds like a lot. I um, In direct sunlight. Oh, gosh, that sounds, um, I, well, I don't have weeds, so, but anybody who does have weeds, mis talk to Mr. Tom. Well, Larry, let me just, if, if Daryl and I cannot convince you <laughs> to start gardening, now we are going to convince you. That's all there is to it. Just, just do me a favor. Just plant, go get a little plant. And water it and and look at it a couple of times this week. And then when you tune into the next live stream, tell me if you if you aren't just a little bit interested in that plant. And let's see. Ooh. I can't imagine boiling milkweed and eating it. It's ooh, I don't like the smell at all. It's too Ooh. France. Of course, France. <laughs> Thank you, Gazelle. I thought I wrote that down. Um, and let's see. Wait. Tanya San, uh, Santos is watching from Brazil. Oh, I have Brazil on here. I have Brazil. I must have read that. Jinx face jellyfish. Thank you. What is your name, your actual name, Jinx space jellyfish? Do you have like a regular name? Um, quarter of a cup. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Christina, did you just tune in? I'm glad you did because it was just, <sighs> I had a tissue. What happened? Oh, there it is. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, Christina, I, uh, I had forgotten that I didn't have any moderators on, so I'm glad you uh, tuned in when you did. How do you how do you buy horticultural vinegar? Where do you get that? Ooh, okay, okay, Mr. Tom, thanks for tuning in. I have Brazil. Thank you. Um, hello from Scotland, uh, Myra. Uh, Myra, please say hello to um Karen, who is online from Scotland. Is anybody else online from Scotland? Say hello to uh, Myra. Okay, let's see. Uh, what is, um, let's see, I want to see what that says. Uh, okay. Let's see, Brazil is nice, I guess. 
Yeah, I've never been to Brazil. Zone eight is not bad. Oh, I'm sorry. What was you? Oh, Re Rebecca. Fantastic, Rebecca. Yeah, that's awesome. Where, where, what state are you in? Um, zone eight is not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, Garage Greenhouse, Travis from Colorado. How you doing? Um, is this the same Travis that connected with me on Facebook? Now I'm wondering. <laughs> oh, gosh. I would love to uh, plant some buckwheat, um, but I uh, don't have any space. Karen, are you still on? Oh, yeah. There, there she's talking to. That's fantastic. I connected two people in Scotland. Yay. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly uh, respond to a comment from my, if you haven't watched my, uh, my video this morning, please watch that. And, uh, and also it would be great if you would watch part two, if you haven't already watched part two of my next to last video. And, um, let's see. I'm just letting know. I'm just letting CP know that I'm on live stream to tune in, and I I wonder how I can do this next week because this plan. Oh no! Um, someone just wrote me. <laughs> Uh, Tonya, uh, Tonya, I just saw you, your comment on the other, on the other bit, on the video. And I'm so glad that you tuned into the live stream. That's fantastic. And I'll be right back to look at comments in just a second. I just wanted to, um, to answer something real quickly. Yeah. Okay. Now back, back, back to where I was. Okay. Let's see. Uh, if anybody cares to give me a donation through super chat, I would not be offended. <laughs> and if you haven't uh, hit the like button, I've got 42 people online. I've only got 27 likes. Come on guys. Help me out. Hit that, hit that like button. Uh, let's see. More Ray Shire, more, more Ray Shire. I'm so happy you found me, Myra. I am thrilled. I have been to Scotland. I told Karen this before. I had a fantastic uh, trip to Scotland in 1983, probably before you were born. <laughs> and um, was it 83? 93. Anyway, went to Edinburgh, did the Ed Edinburgh Fringe with a uh, theater group and had a chartered flight over there. It was very interesting. <laughs> it was those, one of those kind of flights you just glad you make it, and you glad you make it back. Oh, a chartered flight. Oof. Well, that was, I was flying from, from New York. I lived in New York then. Anyway, um, yeah, 93. So, uh, <laughs> toured around up in Scotland. It's so beautiful. I just, I just loved it. Well, I'm, that's my roots are Scott Irish Welsh. So, uh, you know, you go back, you just go back and you think, Oh, this is where I come from. <laughs> this is all perfect. Ah, ah, it's 8.48. Wow. We've been on for 45 minutes, 44 minutes. And a uh, little mishap in the beginning. I was trying to be, I was trying to do things more professionally and so that I could actually let people know.
because last time people said, we really want to know if you're doing the live stream. So I thought, okay, there's a way to do that with a different software um, so that you can let people know you're doing a live stream without having to actually make, you know, the, the problem with, with, oh, thank you. Who was that? Who is that? Um, buh, 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 I just got a super chat donation, and I really appreciate that. Hey, Cherry, where are you writing from? Welcome. Uh, anything, guys, at the top of, well, that was actually the other chat. But uh, maybe Christina, whew, what was that? Something went. Some kind of bug flew in my eye. Maybe Christina could quickly copy and paste my um, links, or maybe I can do it. Probably easier because I have them here. But but uh, if you guys, these are ways that you can um, support my channel, guys. Um, you can make a direct donation there. You can become a patron. I mean, that's the absolute best way because then I know. You know, if I have money to make a trip or something like that, then I, I know that I can do that. And let's see. Hmm. Where's my Amazon? And anything you want to order on Amazon, if you go through my link, which costs nothing extra to you, all you have to do is enter Amazon through my link, my affiliate link, and which is right there, and order anything you want from toothpaste to toilet paper or anything, anything, anything. And I'll get a, a very small commission for it. last month. I made $22 and the month before $26. <laughs> so, um, every little bit count. And part of that was <laughs> part of that is my own purchases. So <laughs> anyway, um, I would really appreciate you guys support. So that's how I'm going to continue to uh, do my channel is with your support. Uh, Hope Energy, London, UK, fantastic. I may have to get out the bug spray. Texas. Um, and now I think I missed your name. Um, oh, let's see. Jinked Space Jellyfish. Um you're a female and I've forgot, no, um, remind me your name. Uh, let's see. And where are you faithful flowers? I forget. Uh, Travis, let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was thinking it was, it was different. Travis. Yeah. Uh, got a jet. It's 2 a.m. in Australia. I have to get up in a few hours. It was, oh, thank you so much. Um, Hamish, 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 I think. Thank you so much for checking in from Australia. Uh, hope to get there one day. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's originally from the Philippines, but where are you now located? Oh, wow, Tina, that is quite a story. <laughs> I'm a late bloomer, all right. I'm still hoping to make it. Hey, hey, uh, Shilpen Witta. And you're, you're, where are you in India? You're in India, right? Where are you? Um, she was with us. Ooh, what was that? She was with us last week. Good morning, uh, Maggie from Texas. Thank you for joining the live stream. Um, it, guys, I still don't have as many of these as I have people online right now. And if it's because maybe you're on your cell phone and I understand you got to get off of your cell phone, got to get off the live stream for a second to like it and then get back on. 
You can also do it when you finish. Just don't forget. <laughs> Hong Kong. Oh, that's right. You told me that in the very beginning. I wrote that down. Um, yes, I think everyone should tr should try to go to Scotland and, and Ireland too. I mean, both of the countries just are so beautiful. Uh, and it, but I forget where in India. Uh, good morning, Nathan. Where are you writing from? Greetings. Hmm. Is that your name? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Subsilj. Subs. Subs. Subsilj. Silj. I know I'm not saying that right, but we have someone else on from Norway. And I would love to connect you. If the other person is still on from Norway, please connect with Sub Silge. Bangalore. Yes, I knew that. I knew that. And uh, okay, thank you so much, Jinx Space Jellyfish. And I hope you've inspired. We've inspired you to garden and tune in next week for another live stream. And happy Fourth of July. That's okay, Nathan. I just can't keep it all straight. But thank you for joining the live stream. And let's see. I wanted to talk about uh, who who has problems with mildew. That is my number one problem in the garden. And so a lot of people have been talking lately about hydrogen peroxide spray. And I just want to know if anybody else has had success with that. And that is where you add 12 tablespoons. And I think Mr. Tom was the one that first told me about that. Um, and he's gone now. And OAG is not online. Um, hey, Daniel. Let's see. Daniel just joined us from where? Uh, Arizona. Fantastic. No, I haven't, Tina. Tina, if you know about dragon fruit, can you please enlighten me? Because I must do a video and do this because my understanding is I just watched a couple of videos and talked to Jack at Epic Yard Farm and the branches have to drape to the bottom of the ground and before they'll bloom. So my question is, do I have to cut it and then a branch comes off of that and goes down or can I just release it? at a certain point and let it drape down. And does it just know it's gonna, about to hit the ground and that's when it blooms? I, I don't understand how it works because on here it just keeps growing up. And you know, this video that I watched, this guy had, a, had it in a pot and had one stem cut and then there were like 10 branches coming over and just at this arbitrary sort of four to five foot length, the flower was on the end of that. So I don't understand. What do I do? Help me. And the answer is no, obviously. It's gr just growing up. Ah, too dry and windy. Okay. Dry and windy could be challenging too. Um. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Italy. Um, let's see. Hello, Italy. I'm, I'm, I can't even remember. Hello in Italian for a moment. Uh, let's see. I'm writing this down. We have, if I've left anybody out, please tell me Hong Kong, Cape Town, Norway, Brazil, India, Australia, Scotland, Portugal, France, London, and Italy. If I've left anybody out from another country, please, and Canada, how would I leave Laura out of Canada? It's because she tuned in right away. Let's see. Mm. A buongiorno, of course. Right? Thank you, Portia. <laughs> My brain. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. I had the most amazing trip to Italy. Well, it was actually, I spent 
almost all of my time in, in uh, Sicily in 2016. I went over there for a web festival that um, my uh, that late bloomer got in and got to see Pantelleria and Ustica and Palermo. And it was amazing. Amazing. And the food, it's just uh, the fresh fish and the potatoes and the tomatoes and the olives. Uh, that's like that's like my dream meal. That and pho. <laughs> Uh, ah, you misspelled your name, Eric. <laughs> Good morning to Eric from San Juan Island, which he calls Eric's Island. Two from Canada. Echocentric is in the house. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. And Sarah, where are you writing from, Sarah? <laughs> Thank you, Portia. Uh, my Italian friend, uh, let's see, what is your name from, from Italy? Uh, Fede? Fede? That can't be your whole name. What is your name from Italy? And what, where, where in Italy? I got some Unusual birds up there. Interesting. Not sure what they are. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know whatever happened to Dave M. Uh, Dave M. was was always joining my live streams uh, in the beginning, and he 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 said he was from uh, Mars, I believe. Tanya? <laughs> uh, well, thank you, uh, Tanya. <laughs> How else would you pronounce Tanya? Anyway. Uh, hey, Cherry, I haven't, we haven't heard too much from you. Where are you and do you have a garden? Oh, my. If you invite me, uh, Fede, I will come to Tuscany. Okay. Of course, you know, most Americans fell in love with Tuscany after that book came out. And, um, of course, I read the book and saw the movie. And, uh, oh, everybody would dream of an experience like that with the food and the, mm. I know, I know it's, I know it's an idealized, it's not reality for most Italians, but, uh, it would be it would be awesome to have an experience like that, and I would like to come and visit Tuscany very very much. Ah, Sarah's watching from Germany. Where in Germany? Fantastic. And I don't recognize your Sarah um, name, and so I'm thinking: Are you new to my channel? And how did you find my channel? Fede, what is your like name? Is that your whole name? Ah, how did, where did that show me state come from? Uh, Sid talk, show me state here, Jefferson City, Missouri, home of the big floods and tornado this spring, summer. Oh gosh. Um, you know, I was just in Missouri last year visiting Doug and Stacy and, um, on their homestead and in fact I talked to Doug yesterday he was the one that helped me get that that Google Hangout set up but that was weird because I didn't see the comments and I had to jump ship so I'm just glad everybody that was tuned in came over uh, <laughs> Christina ew, you don't want to know <laughs> that, that that's an that's an off uh, that's an off chat um, conversation. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sid talk, how did you manage in the, with the floods and the, uh, and the tornado? How did you, how did you, how did you manage? Uh, uh, 
Oh, that's interesting that you should bring that up, Ian. And now I forgot where you are. Remind me where you are. Um, because I want to know. Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right, Tanya. Yeah. Yeah, I've spelled it. I've seen it. Well, maybe I'm just used to. Well, I don't know. It just came instinctually for me to call you Tanya. I can't imagine what, what other people butcher it and say, Tanja, Tanja, Tanja. <laughs> Tania, Tania. Like the skater. Let's see. Alabama is in the house, Rita. Thanks for checking in. And um, you're my only Alabaman, Alabamian. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that's interesting. I thought it would be something much more, I'm talking to Sid, I, I thought it would be some something much more like, you know, football related or something like that. Uh, Cherry, if you've answered my question, which I've asked a couple of times, I'm sorry, but I, I still don't know if you have a garden and how long you've been watching. Let's see. Um, I'm, I want to. Mm. Oh, wow. Tina, let's organize a group. Well, I can't go this year. Oh, well. Oh, there's Cherry. I'm Ruby from Sweden. Sweden. Thank you, Cherry. For, for, uh, I'm glad I scrolled back and saw that. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, the question is, are your friends that sent you the link to my channel, are they watching the live stream? or they must watch the videos. And I'm pretty sure we had Sweden in on the live stream last year, uh, last week, or maybe not, but we have in the past. And so thank you so much for tuning in from Sweden. And I hope that you can get inspired to grow a garden. I know it's challenging. Uh, who was Who was on last week? Denmark, I think. Yeah, it was Denmark. And she was saying that she has a glass greenhouse and so she's able to really extend her growing season. So if you're still with your parents and you're young and they call the shots and pay the bills, then you got to get them on board. <laughs> get you a glass greenhouse. Hmm. You can grow some things inside, though, if you've got a sunny window. You can grow sprouts. You can grow plants. You can, you can grow, you know, you can cut, you can, you can have. You can extend fresh herbs. You can grow celery from celery. It's it's crazy what you can grow in the window. Um, let's see. Um, Em, uh, where remind me where you are? I would have to scroll all the way back because I want to know where you're getting a lot of chemtrails. And I don't understand, I don't really want to get political. I mean, I don't, but it's just like, I don't understand how people can call it a hoax when you just, you look up and you can see it. I mean, it's, you can see it. So it's not normal. Um, let's see, what have I missed? Okay. Green grapes. Ooh. Only in Phoenix. I mean, only in the Valley, Tina. Could you be harvesting green grapes in June? <laughs> hello from Tucson. Tucson, say hello to Bigfoot Urban Farms that right above you is she's in the Valley. Oh, well, you're not in the valley. You're in Tucson. <laughs> but she's in the Phoenix Valley. 
So you're at least in the same state and in similar climate, not quite as hot down in Tucson. Spent a lot of time in Tucson because my son was a nationally ranked tennis player and the nationals, the national, uh, um, what's it called? <laughs> the national tournament is in Tucson for the tens and twelves or, or, is, or is the, yeah, the tens and twelves. And then, no, the, the tens are in Tucson, like when you're 10 and 10 to 12. And then the 12s, 12 to 13 or whatever, 12 to 14 is in Phoenix. So I spent a lot of time going to tournaments down there. We'd spend every Christmas and New Year's in, in Tucson, two back-to-back -to -back tournaments. And it was interesting because you think Arizona, but it would be like ice on the tennis court. <laughs> Frost on the tennis court. Strawberries in a sunny window. Sounds like heaven. Maybe one day I'll have a sunny enough window to do that. They were so good. I think I'll go and make myself. Shil Shilpanwita is talking about my, I, ca I can't believe it, guys. Did everybody watch my blueberry compote video? Because that one didn't do nearly as well as uh, I thought it was going to do. Where can I go? I can go this way a little bit. There we go. The sun is just starting to get to my head. Um, if you haven't seen my blueberry compote video, please watch that. It, I mean, it, it's, it's so good. And I'm going to have another fruit. I won't tell you which, which is coming right now. And it is going to, it's a mother load. So I am really excited and I'll be doing, oh, I'll be shooting a cooking video or two about them. So you have to stay tuned to my channel. Myra, you organize it and I'll come. How's that sound? Um, I'll pay for the plane ticket and everything else has to be paid for by the people who invite me. <laughs> and I'll come. So just, I'm thinking the best, best month though. When would the best month be? I mean, it's just like June or July, right? Which means next year. Those are my parrots. Cherry, let me tell you something. You start caring for plants and it affects your whole world. You get your hands in the dirt. There is actually a chemical in the dirt that... Um, that lifts your spirits and we're, and we're, it's, it's a, what's it called? It's a, <laughs> I can't even think today. Um, it works against depression. That's what I'm trying to say. It, it elevates your mood. You get your hands in the dirt. You forget about your troubles and you just, Daryl, Daryl can, Daryl can speak to this. Daryl, Daryl knows what I'm talking about. Every, every gardener knows what I'm talking about. You know, you can have all kinds of problems in the world and everything, and you start caring for plants. And I recommend food plants because food is what feeds you. And you want to, you, you want to take an interest, show an interest in the plants that feed you. And, you know, some plants are easier to grow than others. Obviously, strawberries are very easy to grow. Um, and, uh, you know, it just depends on your climate. Let's see. Now, wait a minute. You're in uh, Sweden. Okay. Uh, but you start caring for plants and you get your hands in the dirt and you, and you, it's, it's like having a pet. You care about that animal and you want to make sure that animal is fed and properly cared for and has all its needs met. I'm looking at my silly cat down there. I wish you could see her. And uh, she's sunbathing. 
<laughs> something she rarely gets to do. I'm gonna get drowned out by the helicopter and go over, directly over my house. Yep, that's a police helicopter heading to the beach, so who knows? I mean, I'm about, A third of the mile from PCH as the crow flies or raven flies. So uh, PCH has got the got the reputation for being the most dangerous highway in the country. So there's always something going on down there. But anyway, Cherry, highly recommend. Just do me this one favor this week. Get yourself a little plant. I don't, it could be a succulent. It could be something simple, something that 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 appeals to you. A food plant is best if you can get your hands on a food plant. You should be able to. It's June, uh, and you're in the upper hemisphere. So um, I would think, uh, and just care for that plant and water it and don't overwater it and, and make, make sure it has sunlight and, and, and try to figure out, you know, what its needs are. And if you have the money, get yourself a little moisture meter. In the U.S., they cost like $6, $7.00. There's no battery or anything. It just has a sensor in it. You can you can stick it in the soil, and it tells you whether it needs water or not. This is the best way if you don't know about gardening, because so many people that don't know about gardening say, I kill everything. I can kill houseplants. And I say, you're probably overwatering. You know, that's what people usually do. They think, oh, I better water it. I better water it. It doesn't look good. I'll water it. And what you're doing is you're killing it with too much water. Um, and uh, so anyway... Do me that favor and then tune in next week and tell me if you did that. And and I bet, I bet it's going to be helpful. Let's see. Ooh. That's fantastic, Ian. Ian, I know you've probably told me 16 times, but tell me where you are because I want to know where the where you're where you're experiencing all the chemtrails. Hi Amber, I just noticed you. Uh, I don't know if that's an ongoing conversation, but that immediately made me think, oh Jennifer Wood, I missed you too. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Tom. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Mr. Tom, that is just too much. You need an eight foot fence around it that you can't see through. That's what you need. You got to put an eight foot fence around your garden that you cannot see through. <clears throat> Mr. Tom said the deer ate up all his his edibles. That's just so disappointing. I had huckleberries. I had huckleberries when I grew up, but I can't I can't remember to tell you the truth. But Daryl would know. Daryl, what do huckleberry, huckleberries taste like? Uh, Daryl, tell them about your wine berries. Dar uh, I don't know if you, Karen, did you see Daryl's the videos I did at Daryl's place in Tennessee? Well, since I was there, he has all of these wineberry bushes, and uh, my other berry people pay attention. He he had this one little shoot that came out of a compost pile or something back way back when, and now his whole place is got loaded with. Um, fruiting wineberry bushes. They're small, but, but, uh, I, I can't wait for you to make me some jelly or something with that, Daryl, because I really do want to try that. It's fantastic, Amber. And Amber is in, wait, Amber, where did you tell me you were in? Where, where are you writing from? Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Jennifer. Endorphins. Duh. Yeah. Hello. Um, couldn't think of it. Oh, harvesting blackberries. I'm so jealous. Amber, the, the, the noisy birds that went over were the parrots. 
I have, there's a wild parrot flock that lives in this uh, area. Oh, where's William? Did I miss William? Oh, in Germany. Uh, Sarah's in Germany, Heidelberg. Uh, yeah, I was in Heidelberg once. And it was very interesting. Oh, thornless raspberries just make my day. Ooh, raspberry rhubarb jam. You know, my post office address is P.O. Box 1602 Pacific Palisades 90272 California. And if you want to send me some of that, I'll give you a review on my live stream, Jennifer because that just sounds fantastic. I tried growing rhubarb once, wasn't in a good place in the garden. And um, every day the leaves wilted and I, and I said, this is, it's just not, this is not happy. So I, I gave up. Some things you just, I think Daryl was saying it too. You know, you, you try something new every year and some things you stick with and some things you don't. Hey, William from East Mesa. Urban Homestead, uh, Better Videos Tube. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in again. Uh, well, Amber, if you make make the soil super super wet, then you gotta wait till it's dry before you water it again. Otherwise, you're gonna kill your plants. Uh, Cherry, well, that's fantastic. Cooking cooking is half of half of it. You know, it's like if you grow your food, you want to cook it. When I was in Tennessee with Daryl, he cook he he grows bamboo and he harvested the bamboo and then we went inside and he cooked it for me and I ate it. It was really interesting. I'd never eaten bamboo shoots, bamboo shoots. Oh my gosh, Tina, are you talking about me? <laughs> okay, Tina gets the prize today. Tina from Bigfoot Urban Gar Farms has watched. All of my videos and rewatches them too, and I really, really appreciate that. Well, Christina, I've got something coming. Coming. I uh, don't grow. I did try growing quinoa one year, but I just found that you know to grow grains, you need some space, and you know I my space is so limited here. And, you know, to take up a, a section this big in the garden with one plant that's going to produce maybe a, an eighth of a cup <laughs> of grain, I just I can't do it. I can't commit that kind of space to those plants. And so I am going to make a, one of my, my favorite quinoa recipe, but it's with something that I've grown in the garden. So you know, stay tuned. Uh, that is the cooking video that I have yet to shoot. But thank you, Tina. I really appreciate that. Wasabi. Amber is starting wasabi seeds. That would be so cool. I would love to hear, Amber, please let me know how that goes. Has anyone else tried to grow wasabi? What is it? Is it, is it like a radish kind of thing? Like a horseradish thing? I'm not even sure what it, how, how you get the, uh, I agree, Iam, and for the 14th time, and it's my fault, please tell me where you are. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom and hopefully I'll see. What? They're doing it in Tucson? Uh, hi, Gabriella. I'm just scrolling back because I missed a few people. Every time I start talking, then I miss. Has everybody hit this uh, like button uh, while I'm thinking of it? And anybody who wants to give me a super chat donation for my channel to help support this channel, please do so. I've also uh, included all of my links and ways to support this channel from buying products on Amazon through my link, becoming a patron, um, or, or direct donations through my PayPal link, 
there's many ways to support this channel. And if you can't afford any financial uh, support, then please be sure and share because I want to inspire as many people as I can for the rest of my life to grow their own food, be kind to Mother Earth, and take care of this beautiful world that we, we've been blessed to live in. Okay, enough of the speeches. Uh, let's see. You adopted your five-year-old granddaughter, Tina. What you're so you're so good. <gasps> Wait, Sid talk. W remind me where you are. I'm going, I'm scrolling back. I missed this. Lori, good morning. Uh we've already been on for an hour and twenty-four minutes. I'm so glad you joined us. Oh, good, Denise. And guess what I have to do when I get off? Cut more yellow leaves off my tomatoes. Ah, uh, chemtrails in Tennessee. Mm. Hello, pizza. Uh, tell me, Nebraska. Thank you. Nebraska. So what is the point to it? It's, it, it, it is it because they want to create rain? I mean, what, what, what is the point? And who's doing it? I, it's just, I don't know. It's just so, it, uh, it's so unfair. Um, okay, I'm all the way back up to Cherry talking about loving to cook. So that's where it starts. You, you get some wonderful ingredients and you make some, some dishes and then you go, gee, maybe I could, Indiana, of course, Indiana, Nebraska, Missouri, uh, Doug and Stacy were reporting on that. Um, yes, Larry, you could start growing strawberries. It's a great place to start. Um, I, I mean, I find growing strawberries a little, a little um, unrewarding here. Uh, but it depends on where you are and how you're growing them. But there's always something you can find to start, Larry. And I want you to start. I want you. I want you to take the cherry challenge that I just gave to Cherry, and I want you to get one plant this week, and I want you to to love it and water it and 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 put it in the sun and give it what it what it wants, and come back and report on next week and tell me if if you aren't interested in getting another plant. Uh, let's see. Hey, where's Walla Walla, Christina? Forgot. Now I forgot where Jennifer is. It's so hard to keep it all straight. Uh, let's see. Sid, where did you say you are? You're talking about community garden that's underwater. I just wonder if, if 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 something like that happens, can you somehow put a sandbags around your garden and some pump it out before everything dies? I don't know if that's even possible. I guess it I guess it would be possible if the water just sort of rose, but if it washes through, like Steve sent me a video the other day of uh, or pictures of the water in his neighborhood. It was just like a river going down the street. I mean, you can't do anything about that. Gabriella, that's fantastic. I'm scrolling back. Gabriella is writing from Maryland. And I think you're a new subscriber, Gabri Gabriella. And she started a, a, a garden in April. I mean, just two months ago. Herbs, spinach, peppers, and tomatoes. And before you know it, you're going to be starting your in, next January. You'll be starting your own seeds, <laughs> your own tomato seeds and peppers. <laughs> you, you're going to jump in, and you're going to be so enthused that 
I forget where you are. Oh, Maryland, Maryland. Yeah. So you'll have to start your, your pepper and your tomato seeds and your eggplant and your squash and cucumbers and all those wonderful things that we love to eat. You'll have to get all that started in a little light set up in your, you know, in your garage or in your basement or in your, in your, in your dining room, wherever you have space. And then you're going to set all those plants out in next April or May. And you're going to have a fantastic garden next year. And, but the first ones are the, all the, always the most exciting. Oh, Tina, I'm sorry. You're talking about rain capture. <laughs> I, I, um, I, I got confused because we were talking about chemtrails and I, and I thought we were talking about, um, no, it's not vapor. Everybody knows it's not vapor. It's not vapor. Good morning. And, um, Yeah, I mean, Doug and Stacy said they 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 notice that their energy drops and they have to stay inside and you know you get headachey, you don't feel good when they do this spraying. Um, I don't know. Can you give? Okay, let's see, Christina, enjoyed your project. Boy, I'm way behind here. Let's see. A cherry. Be sure and watch my blueberry compote video. You're going to be making pancakes and whatever. Uh, I'm way behind here. Heidelberg, Germany. Uh, I had such a good memory of being there. Oh, boy, I'm behind. Behind, behind. Yes, I Amber, very good to be more addicted to gardening and nature nature than the internet. Very good. Let's see. Um, wow, I am very behind. Oh, 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 right, Walla Walla, Washington, that's right. Oh, the Missouri River is still flooded. Oh, dear. Well, I mean, we could talk about flooding, but I mean, it's just unrelated to climate change. We could talk about flooding because it's just like, you know, when they started corralling in the floodplains, it, it, it's just like you're forcing more. I, I don't know. I, I'm not an expert on it, but, but, um, a river has to have a natural, you know, ebb and flow so that it has some place to go so that it doesn't barrel down and just destroy cities. So uh, it's, 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 and that's really the U S Corps of engineers, I guess that, really made all those decisions for better or worse a long time ago. Hey, Lulu, where are you writing from? Good morning. Let's see. Oh, thank you. Sub. Oh, thank you so much for your donation. Sub subs. Silja. Thank you so much. That's very kind. And uh, I hope you have a great day. And do tune in again next week. Okay. Same time. Let's see. Of course, the Walla Walla Onion. I'm just going to show that link. I have to approve all the links, Jennifer. And that seems like a very good one to share. Norska Kroner Hay. Ah, that's, it sounds beautiful. I don't know what it means, Cherry, but it's, you have a beautiful language. Let's see.
I mean, Sid, we, uh, we, they did that with the LA river. What a disaster. You know, they think putting the LA river that flows right through Los Angeles in a concrete bed with sides, just imagine what are you doing? But it's a big city and they want development. And so that's what they did. And now what they're trying to do is they're trying to reclaim a lot of that. Um, but how do you do that once you've got all this infrastructure and buildings and bridges and all this stuff? You know, I don't know. Estuaries are necessary. Absolutely, Christina. Christina is a teacher, you guys. So if you have any questions for Christina, Christina, she knows a lot about a lot of stuff. Uh, well, and, and if you want to talk about, Christina's brought up an interesting point. Estuaries are necessary for reabsorption of water. Okay, you're talking on the big scale, you know, the river but think about it in terms of your own practical yard or your own practical space. It's infiltration. And infiltration is, is the rate that, that rain can be absorbed into the ground without running off. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but if, if this is interesting to anyone, but Gabe Brown is a farmer in, I want to say, Wyoming, I think upper Midwest, and he has something like 100% infiltration on his farm. And they had this massive rain a few years ago. This is all documented in a book and maybe in videos. And uh, the, the farms all around him were flooded and had standing water ponds for weeks after this, this rain. And there were no ponds. There was no runoff. There was no soil, topsoil loss. One of the biggest problems with our farming today, with industrial agriculture, is, you know, you have these monocrops. And so when the rains come, there's, no, there's nothing to, 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 to grab onto that rain. And, it, and, and, and the water runs off and it takes the topsoil with it. We are losing topsoil at a much faster rate than it can be rebuilt. And so we, what we have to do is we have to increase infiltration on our farms and we can do that in our cities too. You know, all this water that, that when we do get rain and we did get more, much more rain this year in Los Angeles, it's like if it hits asphalt and concrete, it's going to go to the storm drain. It's going to go into the ocean and it's going to carry all the dirt and oil and, and some trash and plastic and, and all the crap with it. Whereas if we have, if we have, and, and people think, well, okay, well, it's, you know, it, we don't need to, to, to use a lot of water. We want to do drought tolerant landscaping. And then they put all this D, uh, DG, de decomposed granite. And, you know, like one little cactus here and one little cactus there, it would be better to have the whole yard full of weeds like my neighbor across the street. I guarantee you that, that, <laughs> No water runs off his property, you know, it, it, because he's got so many weeds. Because those those roots of those weeds are filtering that water into the ground. It's going into the water table. Anyway, this is a very so exciting topic for me, so I, I, I get a little carried away. Um, if anybody wants to talk about that, I'm happy to. Let's see. William is saying... Ah, uh, where are we? Teresa from Tucson. Uh, Teresa, there are at least one other person from Tucson on the live stream. Please connect with Teresa from Tucson. Mm. Where are we here? Ah, Sid talk. You can order if you're interested in white strawberries. I want to give a shout out to Sharon's natural gardens. She has a five acre. I did several videos when I just started vlogging and traveling on my two parts East playlist. 
you can go back and look at Sharon's property and she's been doing tinctures and growing all these wonderful things and growing biodynamically. And uh, her, that, that property is so rich. Uh, and she sells those, those white Alpine strawberry slips on her local harvest store. So if you go to Sharon's natural gardens.com and show her a little love that, 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 that she's alone on that five acres and she's older and so by selling her tinctures and her seeds and her plants, life plants, that's where I got my cardamom and so many other plants. Um, and, uh, show her a little uh, support that, that helps her stay on her property and keep going. So Sharon's natural gardens.com. She's got a lot of stuff, but I, I just remember that she has the white Alpine strawberries Uh, let's see. Where are we? Hi, uh, Nada, Nada Cracker. Uh, where are you writing from in India? Uh, she's asking about Indian food and agriculture. I have a lot that I think about Indian food and agriculture. I love to eat Indian food. I have a lot of Indian spices because I have many Indian uh, gardeners that I've connected with over the years. And one Mumbai balcony gardener has sent me so many, I mean, more spices than I'll probably ever use. And um, because I don't cook that much because I'm too busy. Um, but I love it. And um, I have a lot of thoughts on Indian agriculture because of Monsanto, who we were talking about earlier, you know, made such a big play in India and convinced so many poor uh, Indian farmers to use, use all those products and then wound up becoming indebted to Monsanto because they couldn't, because they couldn't afford the seeds because Monsanto patents the seeds and they say you can't grow the seeds without buying the chemicals. And so I, I uh, one of my heroes is Vandana Shiva. And, um, and if you're not familiar with Vandana, you probably are, but if you're not, uh, go to navdanya.org, navdanya, N-A-V-D-A-N-Y-A.org. And she has programs for seed freedom and, and, uh, uh, women, women employment and uh, supporting farmers. And she goes all over the world uh, talking about these issues and travels tirelessly, publishes books. I don't know how she, and she, and she's a, and she's a neuro, uh, a neuro scientist or something. I mean, it's just, she's brilliant. So I think a lot about it. <laughs> and, and welcome for, welcome to the live stream. And Nada, we also have Shil Panwita is on uh, right now from Bangalore. So connect with her. Watermelon would be very difficult in Scotland. It's difficult here, and I'm sure it would be difficult there. Hi, Teresa. Oh, thank you, William. You're so Kind. William has just made a super chat donation of $20 uh, or 20 something dollars. $19.99 is what I see. And I really appreciate that. You're one of my favorite people, William. Thank you so much. And William, if you guys haven't checked out William's channel, William is in East Mesa. Obviously, he's got young children, a wife. They, they all work in the garden. And he's got chickens and he's got big garden beds and he's got a new channel. So check out his channel. He is going to be putting a lot more effort into his videos and um, he, he, he wants to make great videos and make them entertaining. And so please check out William's channel, uh, East Mesa Urban Homestead. And he's down in the Phoenix Valley. Oh, there's Harag. And uh, let's see, Harag, Teresa is here. Teresa, remind me where you are. I know your name, but I don't remember. And now the sun is hitting this, and, and there's dust on my screen. Uh, Harag, and remind me where you are. Let's see, could I grow a hanging grow basket with red strawberries and white? 
That is a good question. I think I think uh, Portia would be the person to answer that because she grows so many kinds of strawberries. I've got hanging baskets uh, close together, but they're separate varieties. But it, I don't know. It's just hard for me to to get them to produce. It's a lot of work year round, you know, to keep these plants alive, and then. In one season, you might get one little container. <laughs> it's just, but hey, you got to do it. I mean, you got to do it. You got to, you got to have strawberries growing if, if they're available. You got to do it. Oh gosh, um, we could talk all day about pollution in India and, and other countries. I mean, I between India and China, you know, they're growing so fast. It's the problem. It's the growing so fast. And the countries, both of those countries are more interested, the, the, the governments are more interested in growth than in protecting the people. And, you you, you know, they, they, they brag about all of this industry and, uh, and all this. But meanwhile, the people on the streets are, are wearing face masks because you can't even breathe. So no, it's it's bad. It's it's super bad, Nada. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And where are you? Where did you say you're from in India? And Harag, did you tell me where you where you're writing from? Because I want to write down your country. Ah, let's see. Let me see if I can pronounce that. Garav. How did I do? Nada Cracker. Her name is Garav, and I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh boy, I'm behind on. Let's see. Let me let me scroll ahead. What do you mean still on YouTube, William? Would you have given up or something? William wrote me on Instagram and we had a big conversation and he's a big, tough uh, U.S. Marine, former U I think former U.S. Marine. And so I just gave it to him straight. You got to do this. You got to do that. You got to do this. You got to do that. And, uh, and he, he knows I, I, all of that. All of my suggestions are given with love because I want everyone to succeed. I want everyone to be happy and I want everyone to be healthy and have a healthy world to live in. So sue me if that's a bad thing. <laughs> uh, I, 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 Teresa, remind me where you are because I'm behind on my... Shishito peppers. Okay. I have not grown shishito peppers, but when I had a farm box last year, they came in my farm box. Oh my gosh. There was this recipe. You blister them in the oven and then you toss them in. It's uh, a combination of um, goat cheese and, oh, what is it? Oh, I don't remember exactly what it was in it, but you toss them in that and then you just eat them, you know, as an appetizer. Oh, I ate the entire tray. Oh my gosh, that was so good. And if you guys want, I can try to find that recipe and post it underneath because the recipe came in the farm box. Uh, yeah, who knows, William? I mean, this is the way it is on YouTube. We just, we just have to live with their rules. That's what I wish I had done, Portia. But I just had a weak moment at, at Home Depot and the only watermelon they had there was, I think it was 75 or I don't know, 80 days or something. And I, I'm not, 
I'm not holding my breath. I'm going to get a single one. Uh, Patricia, thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we probably should sign off soon, guys. It's been an hour and 45 minutes. Um, See, only in the ground. Yeah, well, you've got the space, Portia. Other people just don't, you know. Tucson, right. Tucson, of course. Um, okay, Sid. Okay, uh, Sid, I didn't remember uh, how she grew them. But I know that when I left, <laughs> when I left Delaware, she wrapped up a few of those in you know plastic and so forth and then i went on to to um pittsburgh and from there and then so by the time i got home you know these things got forgotten about and when i opened them up they were like toast so um i should order some more and and give them a try they're supposed to be really tasty Ooh, 12 alone. That, that, um, ooh, 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 uh, Kevin, you should, well, I don't know if I'll be able to grow them next year, but <coughs> you should send me some seeds, Kevin. Hmm. <coughs> Thank you so much, Teresa. Uh, let's see. Oh, I would love to have, I would love for um, Guarav, 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 Guarav. I would love to have a dinner with you, with you cooking. <laughs> I've never really made, I, I made, um, uh, I challenge you, uh, Gaurav, to go to uh, my last, if you go to my pepper playlist, Growing Peppers playlist, one of the last peppers, oh, pepper videos I did on there, I made uh, garam masala and my own spice. And so please watch that. And I used it all. It's gone. <laughs> I need to make another batch. What do you put lavender Epsom salt on, Portia? I missed something. And thank you, Teresa. Let's see. Which to die for recipe, Christina? Are you talking about the, the uh, blueberry compote? I forgot what we're what recipe we're talking about. I'm gonna post the the um, I'm gonna post the blueberry compote because I can't remember what other recipe I was talking about. Ah, uh, spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hmm, I'm missing comments. Maybe somebody else. Can, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, what is going on here? Oh, you know what? Oh, no, no, what? That is interesting. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing how you see, oh wait, hold on, control room. This is the video of the blueberry compote with, uh, with the pancakes. Would love it if, if everyone would give that another watch. And has everyone hit this? Um, <laughs> em, um, if I tell you, I'd have to kill you. So no, that's <laughs> we say that in the U.S. It's it's a it's from a movie, I think. 
it was later. Okay. It was later, later, you know, after I had my kids and they were in high school. <laughs> uh, Teresa, I don't know what you're saying. Yes, please. Yes, please. If you're just somebody tell me if that's the recipe we were talking about. I know, Sid. I got I got uh, lettuce, beets, and um, lettuce and beets together in that planter over there. And you can actually, if if you grow a pot of tomatoes, and you you can grow basil right in the pot. Um, there's so many things you can you can grow together. Hey Jody, um, and I, I have I have gotten behind here. Ooh, New Zealand, fantastic! New Zealand is in the house, fantastic. Uh, let me see what I missed here. Um, Alex, fantastic! So you're new to my channel, and where are you writing from? And do you have a garden? Uh, Christina, Porsche is way ahead of you. She's got an amazing, amazing garden. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hello, Rennell. And where are you writing from? Thank you for tuning in. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> uh, Sid, I got to say, an eight-gallon pot is not going to support all that. So you got to know that that's too much. Um, they're happy now, but, 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 but the tomato plant is going to be like this, unless you keep it completely, every sucker pruned and you keep it one little stem. Um, and of course the cilantro, if you just have one little stem of that, and if you just have one or two onions, but I mean, the thyme is going to get like that and the basil is going to get like that. A poppy, ooh, and the kale. Kale's gonna come and go because that's that's cool season. Well, you 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 may you may see the whole thing through to fruition. I hope so. And and anyway, it's it's a great experiment. North Phoenix. Oh my gosh, there's so many people from Phoenix on here. Everyone from the Phoenix Valley and Tucson, say hello to Rennell. She has a ch channel called Suburban Homestead Preppings for Survival. Ah, uh, let's see. And Alex, if you wrote me, I'm going to keep scrolling down to see if you wrote me where you are and if you have a garden. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, Tina, how much do you use the by, by the way, C O I R. If anybody is wondering what coconut core is, it's uh, coconut coir, and um, that was probably an autocorrect. But how much of that do you use? Because I have some, and I never know how much to use in the pots. Uh, but it does um, hold moisture. Am I right? That's why you use it. It, it hangs on to moisture. Um, uh, Guarev, are you talking to me about which country do, do I belong? I'm in the U S I'm in Los Angeles, one of the largest cities in the world. And I have an urban garden for seven years and I've been on YouTube for seven years. And finally people are starting to notice. <laughs> I saw this channel video last night i won't it will remain uh, nameless and I, I had to send the link to my sound editor and we had to just talk about it because you know she had so many more subscribers than me and i guess i can't say really anything more because i don't want to i don't want it to come back um but i just couldn't get over it because um william as we've talked, no production value whatsoever and no structure. 
and just to walk around with the, with this. And, um, and I was just shocked that, um, that she's doing better than me. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's see. I, I don't know where you get more space to sow more seeds, Portia. I mean, you, 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 you're growing more stuff than I can even count. Oh, the peppers appetizer recipe. Yes, I will. I'm going to make a note. Sorry, I'm so behind on the, uh, behind on the scroll here. The shishito peppers um, dipping sauce. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, oh, I see. I, I'm just seeing a um, Chinese uh, characters. It says, hello. And I'm not sure where you're writing from. Uh, so can you please tell me your country? Because I am keeping track of all of the countries. And just lately, there's been more people tuning in from other countries. This looks like possibly Russia here. Um, I can't pronounce your name. Just if you're checking in, please, please tell me where you're writing from. Because I want to keep track of all of the countries outside the U.S. Uh, I have New Zealand. Let's see. And Namu Kim, let me know where you're writing from. And there's Jody, um, Jody Thai. And Jody, remind me where you are. Ooh. Thank you, Christina, for catching that. You can just go ahead and hide that user from my channel. Um, Right. Peat moss is not sustainable. I mean, it's not renewable, guys. It, you know, it takes thousands of years to create peat moss. So try to use uh, something else besides that. Read your ingredients when you buy your potting mix and stuff. Thank you, Myra. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, no, there is... Um, uh, K Kiran, I don't think I'm saying that right. Can you remind me where you are? Uh, K-I-R-A-A-N, say hello to Kiran Chetty. And uh, no, there have been no updates. So that's that. Uh, I wish, but no, but no. Ah, South Korea, okay. That's fantastic, Cherry. Thank you for joining us from Sweden. And I, I hope you've, you've, you've been inspired. And please check in next week, same time. And look forward to hearing from you again. Right. Um, she explains what better, Tina. What are we talking about? What was I talking about? Glendale, Jody, of course. G uh, Jody, we need to arrange for you to come and visit my garden. Glendale is not that far. If you would like to visit my garden, uh, please leave me a comment in the comment section underneath the video. Or you can, better yet, you can write me through my website through the contact page, and then I'll have your email address and we can arrange something. But I am giving tours of my garden this summer, guys. And I am charging a little bit of money for that. But for that, you get to have tea with me, a tour of my garden, and a plant. You get to go home with a plant. And if I run out of the sweet Annie plants, then I will have the, I have so many succulents. Oh, my gosh. So many. So please let me know if anyone is interested in doing that. Because my summer is getting really jammed. And I want any super fans of this channel to be able to see this garden this summer because you won't believe what I'm growing in such a small space. Iceland is in the house. I'm so glad we're still on, Maddie, because it's already two hours. <laughs> but say hello to Maddie, everyone, in Iceland. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see. And where is... Um, Okay, okay, okay. There's someone else on from New Zealand, right? Um, and if if so, uh, please connect with Kiran, Kiran, uh, Fruits of Love, so the Pakistan stop helping terrorists to harm you. Oh, I do not know how or 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 or, or how to get seeds for fruits full of love. And if I was in India, I would go to navdanya.org. That would be my first stop and do research there and find out what kind of seeds you can, you can get there and how you can help your country. It sounds like you've got a really um, big agenda there that you, that you're trying to do. Uh, and, you know, I'm sending you my love and, and uh, support and, um, uh, Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know how I could help. Uh, oh, Kiran, perfect, per, uh, perfect uh, pronunciation. I'm so happy. Five a.m. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. Okay, it jumps. And let's see. Can't, yes, can't wait. Um, oh, that sounds lovely, Alex. But but I I missed where you are. Um, Yeah, I don't have fall leaves, cause Daryl, because I don't have fall. <laughs> but a lot of people do, so that's a great suggestion. Daryl is saying use chopped up fall leaves as a replacement for peat. Peat moss. That's wonderful, Alex. I'm going to scroll down and see if I can see where you're from. Um, by the way, I'm watching from Malaysia. Larry, you didn't mention that. How many times have I said countries here? Uh, obviously, you're not from there because you said you're watching from there. What are you doing in Malaysia? <clears throat> and if you're in Malaysia, I mean, you can absolutely take my K challenge and get a plant this week. And, and of course, bringing it home, if you don't live there, might be challenging. I don't know about that. Uh, but that's fantastic. That, that's perfect. That, that's perfect, um, uh, Jody, because fruit trees will be there for you. You know, I mean, they're just there. And, and, and as long as there's, and once they get established, you, you know, unless there's some big problem, you know, they, they're just there for you to enjoy. And um, now, guys, would you like to see a little video? I could do just a little video about, or I could just tell you. <laughs> Maybe I should do a video. But what I do to protect my citrus trees from ants bringing, aphids up into my citrus trees is I use the um, the tangle foot that really sticky stuff um, and I have this cardboard corrugated cardboard that I wrap around it I tape that and then I paint the whole thing uh, with this it's almost like tar but it's it's a natural thing it's not a uh, it's not a petroleum product and um, it really cuts down on on aphids on citrus. And if if I had if I had the same problem with my fig trees, but I don't. I'm just it's miraculous. I don't know why, because there's there's there, I've discovered many many ants right over there between my two fig trees. So I'm not sure why, uh, but uh, that really helped. And so the only other thing is leaf miner on citrus. I know I'm jumping around, but leaf miner on citrus. I, I try to cut down the, the leaf. You can't get, you can't stop it because there's so many leaf miners. There's, it's, it's such a wide variety of insects that actually mine through the leaf of a plant. Uh, but um, I do cut down on some pests by using the sticky traps. I don't have one in front of me. Um, 
But I tell you what, we can talk about that more next week because, I mean, we've already been on for two hours. <sighs> Fruit trees is a great idea for a full-time working person. Yeah, exactly. Right. Exactly. Uh, fantastic, Myra. Where did you go? Did you come to Los Angeles? Georgia. Thank you, Alex. Oh, so you must, you must know. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, Georgia. We talked about this last week, right? You're close to, to um, Paula with gardening with puppies. We talked about this. I remember. Um, Silva, thank you so much for tuning in. It's 3 a.m. and she spent two hours watching. Mwah. Love to you. Please tune in again. And I, I wish that I could pick a time that, that, uh, you know, uh, I can't be in the garden with the sun directly over here. That's just not even possible. You wouldn't even see my face. Um, so, uh, and it would be so noisy. So I'm kind of stuck with this time unless I just switch to Saturday, which doesn't help you at all. Uh, but thank you for tuning in, Silva. Get some sleep. And, uh, oh, oh, fantastic. Silva has linked this stream to heaps of her friends. Ah. Uh, Mwah. Thank you so much. You, you've made my day. Okay. And Andre in Brazil, I think you're in Brazil. We were, no, you're not in Brazil. You're in Portugal. Wait, I, I, I'm not sure. I think I've got that right, but thank you for tuning in so much and, um, tune in again. Okay. I have a great community. It depends, Sherry, it depends on the size of the, of the tree. You just should go up in size as like, so for example, if you bought like a, a one gallon, you're going to pot up to a three gallon and then, or, you know, you could go from a one to a five gallon. Uh, but if it's already in a five gallon, then you're going to want to jump to a 10 gallon and, you know, and then do it that way rather than if it's in a five gallon pot, then jumping to a, a pot that's 21 inches around, you know, those big ones. You don't need to do that um, right away. And uh, so, you know, go as you go. And then uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Don't overwater it because citrus hates to have their roots sitting in water. So, for example, if you're in a pot and, you're, and the pot is in a tray, I forgot where you are, though. Um, I don't know how hot it is where you are, Sherry. So like if you're in, if, if you're in Tucson, you want to keep that tray with some water in the bottom. <laughs> but if you're in a, a place that's not really hot, you want it once you, if you're, if it's sitting in a tray, you want to pour that water off and not let it sit there all week with the, with the roots because it's going to start turning yellow and the leaves are going to start turning, falling off. And you're going to go, what did I do to my tree? All you did was just keep the roots sitting in water and they hate that. I mean, when I first planted my two citrus trees, I, could, I couldn't understand it. It was just like the leaves were yellow, nothing was happening. And, and I was watering it too much. And this lemon tree is not even on irrigation. I literally watered it yesterday for the first time in two months. I, I don't even remember how long. I have wood chips over it and it just doesn't want a lot of water. You know, I think that, I think that the great thing to remember with citrus is, is think of it like tomatoes, water deeply, but infrequently. And then of course, if you do start, see, see it start turning yellow, then you can add some iron. Uh, it's, it's this iron that you buy uh, little, it's little tiny pellets and you put, sprinkle that on it. It's a very, very um, slow release thing. And of course you want to give it a, you want to give it a citrus fertilizer. So read up on citrus fertilizers and, and of course you want to do organic. So, um, but if you, if you're in a hot place, I would definitely recommend using either wood chips or something on the top just to keep, because a lot of times you think, oh, well, the, the top is dry, so I should water it again. This is the biggest mistake people make with potted plants. But if you have that little, um, let me just grab it. I, if you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. I think it's
this thing is like six bucks or something. And it's just got, it just, it senses moisture. There's no battery. It'll last forever unless you smash it. And it just tells you if it's dry or wet. And that's how you, that's how you know. I mean, most people that, that don't do well with potted plants over water, uh, because this, the top part is dry and you think, oh, I need to, I need a water. Oops. I need a water. <laughs> and you don't because the roots are sitting in water. So those are just a couple little tips on that. Oh, I've got India. No, no, India, India is right up here. India was early. <laughs> oh, Andre, thanks so much. Silva, oh, I'm behind now. Let's see. Okay, and then she, and then Christina's got good advice too. Um, but the thing is, Christina, she doesn't need to jump from a little thing to a big barrel, I, I don't think. Anybody got the name of a good, sweet dwarf cherry tree? I have no, I don't. I don't know. Let's see. Oops. Oh, I'm so behind. Um, Teresa. Uh, well, have her have her uh, get in touch with me, Teresa, through my, through my contact page at my website. Mm. And I see just hello. Oh, oh, that's okay. Okay, um, Daryl and Christina is giving Sherry different advice. I I I just I don't go from a, bit, a small to a big right away. But you can if you want to. Um, let's see. Oh, Jody, that's interesting. Maybe, yeah. Well, uh, those huge green, you know, uh, fig beetles. I have found occasionally, even though I have a lot of those, only occasionally do I find a fig and, and there's like 10 of them on there sucking away. And it's just like the grossest thing in the world. <sighs> oh, and then if you go in to try to get, then they fly in your face and bang into your head and ooh. I can get creeped out in the garden. Ooh, ants, cinnamon, please report back. Teresa, if cinnamon works on ants, that would be interesting. Okay, uh, Guarav, uh, thank you for tuning in from India and tune in again. Oh, you're in Phoenix. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, the person to ask is <clears throat> if you have any questions. Hang on. <clears throat> because Phoenix is very different from Tennessee, Daryl. Phoenix in a pot. Citrus tree in a pot in Phoenix is very different from growing in Tennessee and L.A. So I would uh, go to, if you're on Facebook, Teresa, before you go, I hope I'm you're still there. Go to um, Jill Green at Sweet Life, Sweet Life Garden on Facebook because she grows grapefruit and all kinds of citrus in pots successfully. So she would be a great person if you have any questions or get stuck or have a problem. R. Dietrich, where are you writing from? I, I am so glad you found my channel. And do you have a garden? Let's see. Help me pronounce your name. Um, I, I have no idea how to pronounce your name. It's M.M. I mixed my raspberries with sugar and stopped short of boiling it for winter storage. I decided to freeze this, this mash instead. It's, it sounds fantastic. But tell me where you're writing from because you have an unusual name and I'm thinking it's Russian or something. Um, let's see. Wait, Travis is saying... Um, 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Jamela, are you here? Oh, okay. Well, you didn't miss it because we're still on. <laughs> because people are still tuning in. So we're still on. Ground cherries I'm growing for the first time. And somebody else is talking about, Travis is talking about ground cherries. And I have no idea when to. Oh, right. July 1st in, in New Zealand, of course. Uh Jamaica, I'm adding you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I guess if I stay on long enough, I'll get most of the countries in the world. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in from Jamaica and also um, Jan. Uh, we have someone, I know it's a different island, but it's in kind of the same part of the world. Uh, the uh, Jamela is from Trinidad and Tobago and she's a regular. So, uh, so connect with her. And thank you so much and uh, for, for, for finding my channel. And please watch some of my videos. And, uh, and be sure, everyone, and tune in next week at the same time. Uh, okay, Guarev, thank you. Thank you for being part of this live stream. Sending love to India. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I wish I had a cherry tree. <clears throat> my neighbor had cherry trees and they were just, they were just falling on the ground and, Oh, 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 oh. Uh, that's interesting. Dietrich, are you, um, are Dietrich, are you German? And where are you writing from? Somebody else is talking about cinnamon against ants. That's fantastic. Um, Okay, I just, I'm still trying to find out where M.M. that just said, I heard someone in Russia tell me about cinnamon against ants. Where are you writing from? And how do I pronounce your name? Dietrich, fantastic. We do have someone else on stream, or they were from Germany, so please connect with R. Dietrich. Uh, <laughs> Karen. It, it is a marathon. I don't know. I don't know where I'm getting my energy because I, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't get to sleep last night. I, I, I went to bed at like nine 30, 10 o'clock. And I said, I'm going to get up at five. I'm going to get out in the garden. I'm going to get two hours of garden work done before this live stream. And, but then I couldn't get to sleep. And so I, I reset the alarm for six 30 and all I managed to do was just to get an intro, what I call an intro and a sign off for my videos. You know, if you've watched my videos, I, I say, hey, how you doing today? This is what we're doing today. Stay with me. And then I do a sign off where I say, hey, why, thanks for watching my channel, blah, blah, blah. So I got that done. And you're going to see this old shirt again in that. And oh, my gosh, do I have, do I have so much potting up to do today? Oh, <sighs> anyway. Uh, let's see, but I'll have a workshop in Hollywood, so I don't know how I'm going to get even half of that done. Ah, so you are in Russia. I knew it, but your, your English is so good. I'm putting Russia on the list. <laughs> yes, I know. I don't even know. I don't even recognize the time. I, I've got so much energy right now. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I missed anything. Um, Jan, if you're talking to me, you're welcome. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> uh, Kevin, do you mean um, right now, don't stop or... Or, or, or just uh, can, ooh, ooh, that sun is, oh boy, we're going to have a problem very soon, guys, like in five minutes. You see what's happening here? I'm, you, my entire face, look what happens. No, it's, 
not acceptable. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm probably not going to be on that that much long. Oh, you live in wow, uh, R. Dietrich. Um, I can't even pronounce that. Nuke. Oh, oh, of course I can. What I'm saying is Nuke New Kirchen. Uh, Kirken. Newkirken Vlun. How'd I do? Newkirken uh, uh, Vlun. I wonder if I pronounced that right. Let me know. Oh, Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca is Dietrich. R. Dietrich. Okay. Newkirken Vlun. Close to the border. Yeah, it sounds more like the Netherlands than it does German. Um... R. D. Dietrich, uh, I mean, uh, I, mean, I mean, Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca, if you've just joined my channel, were you able to see my Germany and um, Netherlands and, and UK videos? I have a playlist, European Gardens, and I did, and I went to, started in London and made the, made the rounds. I went to Wales and went to some beautiful, air, Somerset and some beautiful areas in England and I did, I did a travel log everywhere I went. And then I, then I went to the Netherlands. I did, I did three videos there, this major glass greenhouse. It's, it's like acres. This thing is enormous. And it was built on the seabed, like so much of the Netherlands. They just drain the sea away. And the, the soil underneath is mineral rich. You have to see these videos. Check it out. And then I went on to Germany, northern Germany. Did six six videos up there, I think. And then I got stuck. I didn't. I didn't get. I I, I have a couple of from Ber Berlin. I I wanted to do, or at least one, and then one from Gies, uh, Gießen. And uh, then I flew home out of Frankfurt, and I and I went and went to Brooklyn, and I did a video in Brooklyn of this backyard. You know, it's like. Um, you know how they have all the townhouse, I mean, the uh, the row houses that are connected, the three or four story row houses. And then one of the gals was on the bottom floor and I did her garden and, and what how it had transformed her health and everything. And it was I thought it was going to be a great video. I never got it edited. Uh, OK, Larry O'Gardner from Malaysia. Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, and I hope to hear from you again. Yes, you can. Yes, Guarev, you can go to bed now because we're going to be signing off because that sun is going to be hitting my hair and turning white. Uh, Teresa. OK, have some iced tea, Teresa, and we'll we will talk to you later. So, Kevin, just to clarify, keep the Sunday chats going, not necessarily this one. <laughs> Oh, she is. Oh, sorry, double dog. Um, let's see. Um, my Russian person whose name I can't pronounce. Um, um, what are we talking about? Are you, are, Rebecca, are you talking about Dusseldorf? Because the I, I've not been to Dusseldorf. And the only experience, I saw this video on YouTube of this one airport. Well, I guess it's the airport in Dusseldorf. And it has these strong winds. And I watched these massive jets landing in crosswinds coming into Dusseldorf. And I made a mental note, do not go there on an airplane. <laughs> it was frightening. Uh, Young Un Kim, welcome, first of all, and where are you writing from? And, uh, and what are you talking about? It says, what is it about? And I don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Bye Jody. Glendale. I'm going to remember that. You're going to contact me. Okay. And Daryl says, everyone tell someone new about Case Channel. And I would really appreciate that. Thank you, Daryl. I will keep the Sunday chats going, Kevin. Thank you. Okay. Uh, is Daryl going to? 
Daryl's going. Okay, bye, Daryl. Harag, can you remind me where you are real quick? Because I want to I want to make a note of all the countries. See you, Denise. Thank you. Oh, wow. So did they send that plant to you, Rebecca, from uh, from from uh, Miami, from Florida to Germany? That surprises me. Okay, Myra, thank you so much. See you later, Scotland. Oh, Pasadena. That's right. You're in the U.S. <laughs> Never mind. I was thinking that um, you weren't. Okay, I'm caught up on my comments, and I think uh, a lot of people are signing off because it, it has been over two hours. It's been great. Two and a half hours. It's been awesome, and I'm going to try to figure out how to get the kinks out of this um, so that you'll know, so that you'll get a notification that I'm going to be on. And, but the Google Hangouts, I mean, it's, that's ending in August anyway. So I don't want to order the third party software. So I have to foot, I have to figure out, oh, you took it with you. Oh, and, and they didn't stop you at customs, Rebecca. That surprises me. Um, North Korea. Thank you. I thought you were from Korea, North Korea. Are you kidding me? You are writing from North Korea? I mean, watching? I can't believe that. How on earth did you find me? <laughs> I mean, I have this perception that that you don't have access to YouTube in North Korea. Am I wrong? I am shocked. But I am so excited, too, to, to, to think that I've... I've infiltrated, <laughs> gotten into, reached someone in, uh, oh, you think he's probably kidding? No, I don't think so. Uh, let's see. What? Harag, you have, you have to go to the Huntington. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see a little sapling and it survived. Rebecca? Um, well, anyway, Yong Un Kim, I um, appreciate you tuning in. And um, do you have a garden? Mm. Okay, ne very important, everyone that's still on. There's 37 people still on. Nathan says, make sure everyone has their notifications turned on and not their personalized notifications turned on. He changed that and he gets the live notifications now. So, can you be more specific? What do they actually do? Is it what colors the button? Where's the button? How do you click it on? How do you click it off? Uh, so everybody knows, because I don't know that. Ooh. Harag, you're growing all that? I've got to come see your garden. My gosh, that sounds fantastic. Oh, man. Um, Harag, if you're on Facebook, can you, can you post a couple of pictures of your garden, uh, to late bloomer show on, uh, make a post and submit them? Cause I'd love to, I'd love to at least see a, excuse me, a picture of what that looks like. Yeah, right. <laughs> Kieran, I noticed that I was, uh, yeah, I noticed that, um, why would any yeah okay never mind uh what is the crossbody porsche and you can or is that a plant you can order that from the huntington right i know heidelberg is is wait are you the one that's in heidelberg rebecca no no you're in uh you're close to 
Netherlands, uh, the Netherlands, right. Uh, okay, everybody, does everybody have that notification things? Uh, Nathan was explaining, have that all set so that you can tune in on time, you know, if you're up. And Harag is talking about Amazon. Don't forget, guys, you can support this channel without any cost to you by using my link. Ooh, it's getting bad. <laughs> by using my link. If you go through my link, you can order anything on Amazon, and I will make a few pennies. So don't forget to support this channel in ways that you can, and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, Rennell, I don't know who you're asking, but if you're asking me, it's 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 a question of what month. You know, it's gonna it's just gonna bolt if it's too hot. Alma, we are just about to get off. Alma, thank you so much for joining me from Georgia. And uh, <laughs> I am Rennell, Rennells, Reynolds. I'm sorry, I I looked at that wrong. I thought that was R-E-N-N-E-L-E-S. So it's obviously Reynolds. Um, I am, but we're going to be getting off very, very shortly. Uh, Kevin is saying that, that you just select all in the bell menu. And I don't know what that means either. I, you mean if you go underneath the bell, if you hold it down, there's actually a pop-up. Oh, I see what you mean. So maybe there's a pop-up. You click on the bell, there's a pop-up, and you just select all in there, and then you get all notifications. I've never even heard of an Asian tiger fly, but it sounds it sounds formidable. Um, can you tell us more? What are they doing to your plants? Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, fantastic, KT uh, from Florida. Uh, before you go, connect with connect with uh, Big Wave Fla. That's Kevin, and he's he's online. He's on live stream right now with uh, from Florida. Uh, And you're being welcomed. Okay, I think this is a perfect time to say thank you so much. I just want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm not sure about that one. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 countries outside of the U.S. I'm so gratified and humbled. Thank you so much, everyone. And I have so much coming up. I have... Um, that's why I uploaded the video today because I'm, I'm going to, if I can get about 3000 views in the first two days of a video, I'm going to just keep uploading like every other day until I get caught up. And, um, I haven't even started the, the big Sur video, you know, uh, because there's been so much to do here. So many workday videos. So I've got a highlights of the end of June. I think, I think that's going to be next. Yes, that's going to be next. And then after that, I've got the workday video that I'm shooting today, and if I have time. And um, then there's, there's the Big Sur and so much more. So thank you so much for following my channel and uh, staying with me for two hours on a live stream. It's just awesome. I am going to sign off and go make some pancakes. <laughs> But, you know, I'm out of that. I'm out of my blueberry compote. And I think I'm going to have, let's see, someone sent me some blackberry jam. And now I'm forgetting who it was. But it's in my refrigerator. And I cannot wait to go in and have some of that. And, and Harag, can you tune in next week, please, and tell us more about this Asian fly? Because I do want to know. Bye, Faithful Flowers. 
Oh, they bite you. Ooh. Mm. See you, Portia. Thank you, Harag. Bye, Travis. Bye, Kevin. Bye, Christina. Thank you for, for, I think you were the only, no, Double Dog was, Eric was on. I tried the blueberry compote with a New York cheesecake. It was delicious. Fantastic. Can you please share that video? It's not getting as many views as I thought it would. Um, and I really want to, more people to see that. Uh, let's see. Yes, Beth. Yeah, you, absolutely. And Beth, yeah, I, you have to come and see my garden. So write me, write me an email through my contact page and let's, let's arrange something. Uh, my zone is 11A. Let's see. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Best wishes to you. Bye, Teresa. Bye, Portia. Bye, Jan. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to see you back here again. Ne same time next week. Bye, Beth. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much.